The AI geniuses at Meta are working on next-generation robots that understand and interact with the real world like humans. The tech giant is shifting focus to physical technologies like its AR glasses and a new class of robotics to blend digital and physical experiences. I'm Mike. And I'm Mustafa. And, and we're, we're working, working on, on Touch Perception, Perception at Meta. MetaFair. Our MetaFair team is excited to release several cutting-edge developments in robotics and touch perception that mark a significant step forward in our understanding of the physical world and our ability to interact with it in meaningful ways. Meta wants to improve the metaverse by adding physical interaction, allowing people to do things like feel virtual items. Um, you know, I think like most science fiction, it's not this binary thing that you just like wake up one day and we're like, oh, we've realized all the dreams. But, but I, I do think that these platforms are going to be the first time that I think that there's a realistic sense of presence in all the ways that that's special to people um, for most things that people want to do, which are not the most physical ones. And even some of the basic physical ones I think we'll get. But then there's a long tail of other stuff. I mean, smell is also really important for people. Yeah. Right? It's, I think it's disproportionately important for memories. At the same time, they want to make people and robots work together more smoothly. Let's explore the innovations and how they could change the relationship between humans and machines. Metafair, the company's AI research and development wing, said it's releasing its research advancing robotic touch perception, dexterity, and human-robot interaction in hopes of achieving advanced machine intelligence. Tools like Metasparse and Digit360 help robots feel surfaces similar to how people use their hands to understand objects. Sparse. Sparse is the first general purpose touch representation that works across any tactile sensor and any task. To achieve this, we train Sparse using 460,000 tactile images with self-supervised learning. In benchmarks, we find that Sparse outperforms task and sensor-specific models by an average of over 95%. The tech works with many different types of touch sensors without needing specific data labels for each one. Using self-supervised learning, the encoder automatically learns how to represent touch. It identifies patterns and relationships in the tactile information without manually labeled examples. Training on a large data set of tactile images, the encoder creates tasks for itself. For example, it might mask parts of the data and then learn to predict the missing information or compare different touch events to understand what makes them similar or different. This process helps the encoder develop a generalized representation of touch that works across different tactile sensors and tasks. If the robot has tactile sensors on its fingers, Sparsh lets it feel textures, detect pressure, and know if it's gripping too tightly or loosely. With Sparsh, the robot can adjust its grip automatically without specific training for each object or sensor. MetaDigit360 is an artificial fingertip sensor that mimics human-level touch perception. It captures forces, heat, and even odor with multimodal sensing and has an on-device AI accelerator for fast processing. Its optical system with more than 8 million tiny sensing units called taxels captures deformations all around the fingertip surface. This allows it to perceive the shape and texture of objects as it touches them in real time. Digit360 combines data on temperature, vibrations, and chemical properties like odor as it gathers rich data about its surroundings. Meta is partnering with Gelsight, a tactile sensing technology company, to manufacture Digit360. Based in Walton, Massachusetts, Gelsight was founded in 2011 by MIT research scientists aiming to create tech to capture precise surface details unobservable by the human eye. Gelsight's tactile sensors use an elastomeric material to create 3D images by measuring how light changes as the material deforms. The tech is useful in industries with strict quality standards like aerospace and defense and precision manufacturing. Meta said it's developing the Meta Digit Plexus platform to standardize how tactile sensors are integrated across different robot components. The Digit Plexus platform supports this by coordinating the data from multiple tactile sensors to provide a comprehensive understanding of what the robot is touching. The platform could integrate with the metaverse by giving robots advanced tactile sensing for use in both virtual and physical environments. Meta is also partnering with South Korea-based Wanik Robotics to develop and commercialize a new advanced robotic hand called the Allegro Hand. Fully integrated with the Digit Plexus platform, the hand features coordinated tactile sensing across its fingers and palm. 
Wanek Robotics will manufacture and distribute the hand for researchers. It's expected to be available in 2025. Meta also introduced Partner, a tool for measuring how well robots and AI work with people on household tasks. It helps improve how AI plans and makes decisions when working with humans. Partner uses a simulator to create realistic home-like situations where robots and AI must cooperate with people. Meta joins tech giants like NVIDIA in extending its reach into robotics. NVIDIA says robots can learn a year's worth of data in under an hour with the tech giant's new AI model for accelerating the mass deployment of humanoid robots. In a new paper, researchers explain how the Hover Neural Network helps robots handle diverse tasks within one system. Hover teaches robots to do things like walk, pick up objects, and move precisely without needing special training for each task. It uses a so-called policy distillation method that teaches robot skills by helping robots perform in a smooth, human-like manner. The team used Unitree's full-sized general-purpose humanoid robot, the H1, to test Hover's abilities in real-world settings. The H1 was tested on tasks requiring motion tracking like standing, walking, and balancing. The researchers say the model helped the robot handle varied tasks accurately. It demonstrated significant efficiency gains in learning speed and task adaptation. The policy distillation method enabled the H1 to transfer learned movements to new tasks without retraining. Hover, accessed through NVIDIA's Isaac platform, has 1.5 million parameters to power rapid, complex learning for robots. With Isaac's simulator tool, robots learn skills quickly by practicing thousands of movements in a virtual world. The model instantly adapts to different robots, cutting down on time and cost by skipping extra training. Hover links with vision language models to turn instructions into quick, precise movements. Companies like Agility Robotics, Figure AI Boston Dynamics, OneX Technologies, Fourier, Sanctuary, Neuro Robotics, and Robot Era use the Isaac platform for their humanoid robots. In his keynote at AI Summit India, NVIDIA founder Jensen Wong broke down the company's approach to bringing AI into physical reality. That next generation of AI needs to understand the physical world. We call it physical AI. In order to create physical AI, we need three computers. And we created three computers to do so. The DGX computer, which Blackwell, for example, is, is a reference design and architecture for, to create things like DGX computers for training the model. That model needs a place to be refined. It needs a place to learn. It needs the place to apply its physical capability, its robotics capability. We call that Omniverse, a virtual world that obeys the laws of physics where robots can learn to be robots. And then when you're done with the training of it, that AI model could then run in the actual robotic system. That robotic system could be a car, it could be a robot, it could be an AV, it could be an autonomous moving robot, it could be a, a, a picking arm, uh, it could be an entire factory or an entire warehouse that's robotic. NVIDIA has a suite of tools specifically aimed at expediting the production of humanoids. NVIDIA says its NIM microservices can reduce robot deployment times from weeks to minutes. The Mimic Gen NIM microservice creates synthetic motion data, while the Robocasa NIM microservice makes simulation-ready environments. Osmo, NVIDIA's cloud-based service, simplifies robot training and simulation. The company says it cuts development times from months to under a week. Teleoperation, which captures human actions to train robots, can be done faster and cheaper with NVIDIA's AI and Omniverse Digital Twin tools. The software is compatible with the Apple Vision Pro, which captures human demonstrations that are simulated and expanded into large datasets for training robots. NVIDIA has been vocal about humanoid robots, investing heavily in their development and capabilities. Humanoid robotics will be as common as cars are today. You gotta imagine what a car looks like a hundred years ago on the street. What a strange instrument going down the street by itself without a horse in front of it. And so I think 100 years from now, it's very clear, we'll have human robots everywhere. It will likely be the largest volume mechanical system the world makes. Program members get early access to foundational models in NVIDIA's project group. The project, announced earlier in 2024, uses NVIDIA's tech to teach robots how to move and interpret human language. 
A robotic startup could use a foundational model with their hardware as a starting point. Since the model already knows a lot, the startup can focus on teaching the robot to perform tasks that can't yet be automated. 